Well, hello and welcome to part six in my series on wealth problem. And uh, now the emphasis on this one is on integers. Okay, this is an IGCSE, a higher tier IGCSE and GCSE question, and therefore suitable for 10th grade or even 11th grade algebra. There are two questions here, and there's the first one. It says, consider the equation a n squared is equal to 182, where a is any number between 2 and 5. Now, n is a positive integer. What are the possible values of n? That's the first one. Question 2 says, uh, k over x is 12, where k is any number between 20 and 65, and x is a positive integer. What are the possible values of x? Right. For the first one, if we say that a uh, is greater than 2 and less than 5 from here, okay? Now, for these three terms, if you multiply each of these terms by n squared, we made that much difference at all. So, we got that 2n squared is less than an squared is less than 5n squared. Now, an squared, as we know, is 182. So, we end up with 182 is greater than 2n squared or less than 5n squared. So, we've got two inequalities here. So, for the first one, 2n squared is less than 182. Divide both sides by 2, we end up with n squared is less than 91. That n squared has got to be a square number because um, n is a positive integer. So, it's got to be a square number. n squared is a square number. So, it could be such as uh, 1, 4, uh, uh, 9, 25, 36, 49, 81, 100, and even 10,000 if you wish. Okay, right. So, uh, moving on. Uh, next one is 5n squared is greater than 182 from there. Divide both sides by 5, we got that n squared is greater than 182 divided by 5, which is 36.4. So, from this and this, we have that n squared will be greater than 36.4 and less than 91. Don't forget, n squared has got to be a square number because we want n to be positive. Sorry, we want it to be a positive integer. Okay? Uh, which that means that the square root of n squared, which is n, has got to be n has got to be greater than 6 and less than 10 there. Okay? Right. Now, so n could be any number between, could, sorry, n could be either 7 or 8 or 9 because n's got to be positive integer there, uh, there somewhere. So n's got to be 7 or 8 or 9 and nothing in between. Now, to check, if we divide 182 by the squares of each of these uh, numbers here, so if we divide 182 by 81, we get 2.25, and that's uh, between 2 and 5. Again, if we divide 182 by 49, it's 3.71. Again, that's between 2 and 5. Now, if you look at the extreme end, say, for, say 6 and 10, if we divide 182 by... Uh, 6 squared, which is 36, we end up with 5.06, which is more than 5. Or if we divide 182 by 100, and that's 182, and that's very much below, that's outside our range there. So we're right. Okay, now question 2, and that says k over x is 12, which means that uh, k over 12 is equal to x, and x got to be a positive integer value there. So, for x to be an integer, k must be a multiple of 12. Yes, it's got to be a multiple of 12. And that multiple of 12 has got to be between the values of 20 and 65 there. So, looking for values of uh, multiples of k values greater than 20 and less than 65, and they must be multiples of 12. So, we end up with first one 24, 36. 48 and 60. Okay, if you divide 24 by 12, you get 2, and that's that's positive integer. And divide 36 by 12, you get 3. Divide 48 by 12, you get 4. Divide 60 by 12, you get 5. And I hope all that made some sense. Please, please subscribe, and thank you for watching. See you again sometime. Bye-bye now.